Hi guys, it's Docs Market Minute for Wednesday, June 3rd. And what I'm looking at here is my S&P 500 gap chart. Now this is the S&P futures contract, but what I'm only showing is the amount of time that it's trading during the cash market. So in other words, what I'm not showing is any of the overnight or pre-market action on this futures contract. And what this does show and illustrate to us is the gaps that occur. So you can see some of these gaps that occur with overnight trading, gapping down here, gapping up, gapping up, you know, these kind of things. And we need to understand these sorts of things because it shows us the underlying market character. If we have a market that's gapping and running like this, then we have an extreme supply demand imbalance in this case. We have not seen that in a long time now, really since the beginning of the year, we have had a gap-free market. So what this means is that we have everything in some ways priced to perfection, which is in other ways frustrating the majority of traders because we are just so range-bound. In fact, I think this is one of the most range-bound markets that we've had in decades. So how will we know when markets are ready to run? How will we know what's the real thing? This market's only been open for 10 minutes and already the upside gap, which was as much as 9 to 10 points this morning, has already been closed. So the first clue that we can look for from a gap chart like this is when we do have a gap and it's not filled that day, when it starts to become a breakaway gap either to the upside or to the downside. So either one of these, if we do have actually a market that gaps higher, and holds or gaps lower and holds, then we have the beginning of something that might be the breakout from this current range. Now the second thing that I think that we ought to look for is to understand and box in or frame in the price action. So in other words, right now on the full S&P, the cash S&P, we have a range that is anywhere from 2100 up to about 2135. So let's go ahead and box in that range well, let's draw a frame around it and what we can see from this point of view then is that if we have a price that goes above 2135 then it's completing that uptrend setting up this level as a higher low with a higher high and the uptrend is confirmed we can continue to take trades in bullish direction however if the opposite occurs if we see the price break below 2100 and hold there unlike yesterday yesterday we tested that level but it did not hold if we see it break down through there then what we've seen then is a lower high setting up on the daily chart and a change in polarity to the downtrend okay so it's very important that we frame in the price action that we understand those levels that are either going to confirm the previous trend or show us a new change in polarity to a different trend. By using these two techniques you'll be able to stay more objective, you'll be able to be less emotional about where you think the market's going. After all, the point of technical analysis is not to predict the future, but rather to program ourselves how we are going to respond depending on what the price does. That's really what it's all about. Not predicting the future, just understanding what you are going to do in response to the price. So that's it for today's Market Minute. Thanks for listening, folks. We'll see you.